Thanks for being here for another video in our camper build series. Today we're going to be putting some walls on our trailer, so stay tuned. We appreciate you guys being here to watch our video today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel so you can follow along on this build series. Today we're going to be putting the walls on our camper, the left and right sides. So what we're going to need to do is get our plywood, put it up. We need to cut our angle in the front of our trailer like we did on our previous campers. We're also going to need to cut the holes for our doors. So I've kind of taken some measurements already and we're going to lay that out and we'll have to use the jigsaw today to cut it out. Um, I'd love to be able to use the router. If I had a form, I would do that. But instead, I've just kind of made a template um, with a piece of cardboard and the door, kind of measured it out and uh, used a marker to kind of show where the, the door would be. And then I was gonna throw that up on the plywood and we will cut it out with the jigsaw. And uh, hopefully we'll get both sides exactly perfect, throw those walls up and then we will put our front piece of plywood on as well. That should add some rigidity to the trailer. Now, when we put up our walls, there's a few things we're gonna need to keep in mind. We're gonna wanna make sure everything stays plumb and level. So I've made sure that the trailer itself is level right now. Really, we can now go off of the trailer level to use that for our walls. I do have one issue, which is that my trailer kind of has a slight bow to it. Um, so what I'm gonna have to do is with my plywood walls, I'm gonna put those up and we're gonna have to mark them and kind of take a little bit off of the bottom to make sure it fits on perfect. I wanted to do that along the bottom rather than the top just to get a good seal on that bottom edge and I want my top to be completely flat. So we're gonna leave that flat and I wanna make sure that both sides are matched up perfectly. But before we get into any of that, we need to cut the angle in the front of our trailer for the walls and then also we need to cut our door in. There are a couple other holes that we'll be making along the way, but I can do those later. But for now, we'll just focus on that cut piece on the front angle and then also the door. This angled piece is one foot down and one foot back, making it a one over one slope, which will make future cuts in the build much easier. Something you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind when you're cutting in your doors is that you actually wanna make it a little bigger than the door itself. Um, if you make it just the right size, it's going to be hard to get in there. And also, you might need to like maneuver things a little bit to make sure it's level and straight and plumb. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it a little bigger than my template I made. And that's just to give myself some wiggle room with the door. The door has a trim of like an inch and a half. So I have a ton of wiggle room there in case I need to move it around or the hole's too big. It's really going to be okay. So what I'm gonna do is basically cut this with just maybe an eighth of an inch around the outside of my template. So I'll go ahead and put my plywood down, I'll mark my template, and then when I'm cutting, I'll just kind of eyeball a little bit bigger than that. It's okay to eyeball because this doesn't need to be exactly perfect. It's all gonna be covered up with that door trim anyway. I then use a plunge cut with my circular saw to cut all of the straight sides of my door opening. Okay, we're using a Diablo fast and clean wood jigsaw bit. I'll put this down in the description. The jigsaw seems to be the best and most accurate way of cutting the rounded corners of the door opening. Just go slow and it should look halfway decent. Next, I bring out my door trim just to double check and make sure the opening is big enough. In this case, it was perfect. I decided to go ahead and use my router for the other wall. Using the first wall as a template, the router can buzz through the door opening in a flash. Next we'll be using a router to route out um, the second sheet. I put this sheet down on top of the other one to use the other one kind of as a template. Um, so what I'm going to do is go from underneath, drill a hole up, um, giving a space to use our router bit and then we'll be able to just kind of buzz it right around where our door's at. I've also gone ahead and marked my angle here, but I'm not gonna use the router on that. I'll just use my 
uh, hand saw, my circular saw for that. From here you can see just how bad the bow in my trailer frame is, nothing a little quick thinking can't fix. Here you can see me using the extremely scientific and precise method of dragging a compass to know where to cut the curve in the camper wall. The tool of the week here on our channel is the jigsaw, so I'm using it as much as possible. Way to go you cheap little jigsaw. I then cut out my front wall, including a beveled edge at the top. This is where the slope of the front angle comes into play. With a 1 over 1 slope, you can make some easy 135 degree bevels, and the angled pieces should match up pretty perfectly. I temporarily remove my wall to add in a support along the bottom. This piece supports the wall, but also provides a space for our insulation. I screw it in and then lay down some construction glue before placing the plywood wall and screwing it in to my new support. None of my plywood for this project has been extremely straight, so here I am using a small demolition bar to press the plywood into the support as I screw it in. There's a pretty gnarly bow in this front wall, so I rig up a piece of unistrut and a ratchet strap to straighten it out while I glue and screw the pieces together. Thank you so much for watching this third video in our camper trailer build series. We appreciate all of your support. If you haven't already, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to stay in the loop for the rest of the build series and other camping related videos. By hitting the notification bell, you will receive a notification every time we post a new video. Thanks for being here, we'll see you in the next one.